So this season I wanted to work um, with the estate of Joe Brainard. When you look at, for example, the collages which he became incredibly famous for of pansies and of flowers, there is a kind of volatility to it. I wanted to really draw on, on the flower series because it really could translate into different mediums in which we use at the Weve, for example, like hand knit and intarsi into leather, which are very difficult to do and complex. So you can kind of play with scale and at the same time give it a textural um, engagement, I think, within the product. In the collection we have, um, as well, we have these sort of triangular tent-shaped trousers. When you pull them out, you get two rectangles, nearly, in which we have presented both the artworks on the side, so it's nearly that you could hold it out. I like this idea that the trouser nearly became a performative piece. I kind of wanted this idea that we would create collages through the material, different types and moments, ultimately, of Brainard's works. And we kind of turned them into a new form of collage. In this collection, we have a lot of um, t-shirts on t-shirts on t-shirts, or polos on polos. It really kind of was derived by looking at Brainard's work, this idea of repetition. It plays into this sort of like, take on a conceptual object within fashion. I like this idea that you, we would kind of make this incredibly complex pair of kind of like trousers, which were in, all belted, incredibly worked out of shearling or turning it back or in leather, that it nearly became some sort of like odd sculptural piece of clothing. This idea of something that we know that we associate to a, uh, a punk movement, but at the same time, we all have like different meanings for that moment. On some of the shorts, we have um, this very intricate and very beautiful draping um, structures at the bottom and at the top of shorts. I like this idea of taking feminine codes and recutting them out of menswear fabric. So taking the camel wool and forcing it into a drape structure to kind of show this idea of a double face uh, or a cashmere that feels kind of sensual. On some of the t-shirts, we have um, a series of like, kind of like, they're actually incredibly tiny motifs that we took from Brainard's work. They're kind of like a charm bracelet, ultimately, where you're kind of extracting charms and blowing them up. So this season with the bags, we really looked into this idea that they became canvases. One of my favorite bags is actually a canvas bag, which has a print of a painting of a whippet, which Brainard had done. Then we have the intarsia, which is obviously what um, Luefe is famous for, this idea of cutting individual pieces of leather and then kind of jigsawing them together. One of our newest bags is the elephant basket covered in nearly the wallpaper of the house. With the hammock we looked at the idea of the clothing within a kind of literary world. Within this collection it is about looking at the individual character of Joe Brainard and of that moment and how that kind of relates to today in terms of subcultural movements and uncreative movements. I wanted this idea that you would discover the collection um, in the middle of a book. Inside the book, we have a selection of um, early fanzines, which um, Joe Brainard did. We're going to have um, the pre-collection of women's wear. We have the men's main collection and we will have um, our ongoing project Isla Hueve Nature which is going to be uh, constructed onto a t-shirt so the looks will be turned into a print that evolves over the back and front of the t-shirt and it will kind of be um, put together with an old-fashioned strap that you use for holding books so it's, it's quite a, an elaborate piece of um, ephemera.